Oh my gosh, the chair, but it's not the old lady this time. Like, I always thought that old lady would have something to do with, like, the ending, but you see her so many times. Is this that first doll I saw in, like, the very first part when I, uh, saw Ethan's wife again? I'm sure of it. Oh my god, this is it. It's not here. It's gone. It's gone. This is that same little area. I can't go back, huh? What? So the mine led right into here? What? God, when I keep saying it comes full circle, I mean it in like every word. It's insane. And this is where he started off. Like literally, this is where he found her at after coming out of the woods. Like in the very first Let's Play. Oh, that lady. E001. I knew she'd have something to do with it. Hmm. This game is coming full circle again. It's, it, it's so good when it does that, though. Like, if it really does come full circle like this, that means it's so good. How did I end up back in the house? What? Why am I seeing this? What? This is so weird. I'm. There's a lot of backtracking in this game. Don't get me wrong, but besides the VHS test, it's normally good backtracking. Ethan, it's okay. It's okay. It's me. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. Kill him, mommy. Ugh, but you shouldn't have done that. <gasps> Does it want to be my daddy? Then he can die. Now it's mommy's turn to kill you. I mean, I, I, it, was, it was obvious she was possessed by something. I mean, it was, it, it was also, in my opinion, pretty obvious that it was her. And that they're all possessed. I mean, I figured they're all, you know, normal people. <laughs> <laughs> there better be one of us. And then maybe you'll play nicely. I'm not playing. No! Get that away from me! Leave me to die! Am I really having to fight her this time, or is that just nothing? It's nothing, okay. It's up to me. It's like that moment you can't tell if it's a flashback or if it's nothing. I hate when I can't open a door correctly. <laughs> that is creepy as fuck. Could this game get any more friggin' creepier in like the best way ever? Stay away! At this point, I probably want to adopt this little girl, you know what I mean?
E001. The old lady. You. Twilight Zone right now. Oh my gosh. Fuck. Fuck. Is that Jason's mom Friday the 13th? Kill it. Use flame. Everything you see. What? What? Ducks can fly. What? That's a big Oh my god, that's totally... That's totally like Resident Evil for you right there. <laughs> You're just a little boy. Owie. Grandkids, you know, maybe you could have had some kids when you were older or younger, I mean. Dust can, ducks can fall. Man, my guy's so torn. What gun is that? Is that my grenade launcher? to clean up that mess I feel bad for you oh man I got 99 problems but a granny ain't one those graphics though right there that's awesome y'all they're breaking apart we looking at some nat graphics wow playing it safe into the night was that playing it safe? I know it's an alternate ending to this. Don't think we'll ever see it, but playing it safe. I'm Redfield. Of course, Chris Redfield. Let me found you. The fuck took you guys so long? And then the purple screen of death. Do I hear a sequel with Chris Redfield in it? I want to miss you, house. Can't believe you lived, yeah. bitch. I can't believe you lived. You made it. I'm glad. Did I? It's 
good question. Did you? What happened to Zoe? I know I could have saved her instead of you. Would I have got to play Zoe closes, the whole time? Another opens. I'll never know. Well, a door closed tonight. And what a long night it was. But not just for me. Me and I weren't the only victims here. So were the Bakers. It was that thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. But now Evelyn's dead. And these guys are here to clean up the mess. I had just come to terms with losing Mia. But now she's back and wants to start over. Put all this behind us. Maybe this is where the next door opens. I mean, good luck with that, dude. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out why she left in the first place. Dude, Resident Evil. Bravo. That was one of the best games of 2017. That was that was fantastic. Bravo. What's this? So, while these credits roll, let's talk a little bit about the game. This is my final thoughts on Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. This game was amazing. It still is. They have taken a franchise that has gotten really stale lately, that does not know what direction to go into, and they have finally found a direction that they should go in, stay in, and continue in. This was unlike any other Resident Evil I have ever played in such a good way. I'm not a fan of Resident Evil. I like the idea. I like the zombies, like the mechanics. I just always got stuck on the puzzles. I always thought it was super hard. This one knocked all that to hell and it made it more linear. It still has the puzzle. It's still of you going back and forth through the house kind of, but it was so interesting. The house was so cool to go through. It was so cool finding everything that it was just, it was fun to do the puzzles and they weren't near that hard at all. I think I had to look up one or two things and it was pretty obvious stuff too. You know, if I would have just played a little bit more, I think I could have figured it out myself. This game was amazing. And honestly, like, this isn't a review, but if I had to score it something, I would honestly give it a 10 out of 10. I love this game and I'm renting it at this point. I wish I wasn't because I want to jump right back into this and start a new game plus. Like, seriously, bravo, bravo. This game was amazing. Hey guys, Duck here. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys could support the channel by liking and subscribing and even leaving a comment below, it'd really mean a lot to me. And if you guys want to go the extra mile, we have a Patreon page. You can check it out in the link in the description below. And we have different goals that you guys can donate to and it would really help keep this channel afloat. Thank you guys so much for listening. Ducks can fly, so please help us survive. Peace.